Eager to submit their job applications, some of these men have camped out for days. Thousands queued here in northern India amid a recruitment drive to send workers to Israel. Fearing unemployment in their home country, some say they're willing to take the risk of entering a war zone. There's unemployment in India, so people are leaving. But there is a war going on in Israel. Yes, but what can we do? We have to work for our empty stomachs. Others say they hope to work in Israel for higher wages. Everything is about money. If we get more money here, why would we go abroad and search for a job? Israel is facing a shortage of workers as a result of the conflict in Gaza, now in its fourth month. After the October the 7th Hamas attacks, Israel's construction sector has largely ground to a halt. Thousands of Palestinian workers from Gaza are banned from entering and access for West Bank workers is restricted. At the same time, more than 10,000 foreign workers, mainly from Thailand, fled after the assault. More jobs have been left unfilled as some 350,000 Israelis have been called up to do reserve duty. Consequently, Israel and India signed an agreement last year that will enable 42,000 Indian nationals to work in Israel in the fields of construction and nursing. According to an Israeli financial daily, Tel Aviv plans to bring in some 70,000 workers from countries including China and India in order to bolster its construction sector.